So this is the first test to see it even uh, if it holds up to the excavator lifting it. Oh, sure hope I put enough bolts in there. Okay, so let's uh, we're gonna try the Goose Island. Are so good. So far, so good. Alright, it's a good sign. All this styrofoam came with it. Gorgeous day to be launching it. Well, high inside size 2020, but um, we're just putting some chicken wire underneath the styrofoam to make sure it stays, since it doesn't look like my long screws uh, are gonna keep it in. All right, made it halfway, headed down to the pond. Gotta tweak that wire a little more. Some wipers on this thing. That don't help much. Take this nice and easy here. the test to see if she's seaworthy. I guess at least if it sinks, it'll be in a shallow part. We can fish it back out. Yeah, I kind of disappointed Mrs. Capper here. She wanted to splash it in the water, but I knew we had to fix the chicken wire the rest of the way. Okay, we did not have a wireless mic, so I'm going to do a voiceover. I'm using the shovel as an oar because we couldn't find the oars that we thought we had in the boat. The uh, green bucket is because this boat has two leaks in it, according to Mike, to bail myself out if need be, and the life vest cushion, just in case I need it. Keeping fingers crossed. Let's roll. I I can get you wet. <laughs> Oh, close. All right, geese, let's see what happens. Oh, you bring in a floater with you, too. A branch. I might have to turn this way. Watch out for that current, it's pretty strong. Yeah. Okay, so I thought this was going to be like, you know, a 10 minute job. Just oar it out there. We got an anchor on one side and a rope on the other side to pull up to shore. Bing, bang, boom, you're out of there. However, comma, that's not how it went. So 
I'm not sure how much <laughs> of this will time. show. We got a lot of video, but um, in the interest of time here, I'll uh, try to just keep it a little more succinct on how this didn't go quite as well as I had hoped. Now, Mike, there's no uh, rope, rope hooks on this boat. That was awfully nice of them to let us use it. Twenty feet, they'll have they would have protection from above that they would you know the eagles or whatever won't see them straight up, but we'd only be about fifteen feet out. Yeah. What do you think? I'd say we stick to that twenty feet out. Okay, everything we have read said to keep it 20 feet off ashore, but special thanks also to the viewer on the last video that said if you can give them protection from above to try that. So we're trying to do that as well. Once the, the trees get leaves on them, it'll make it shadier farther out too. Maybe it would have been better this evening when it wasn't so windy. Okay, so here you're going to see kind of like my first major blunder. Um, I was supposed to tie the rope to the anchor. And at this point I dropped it down and I'm not sure what happened. I didn't tie the anchor off. So what happened was I threw the anchor in and I didn't think I tied it off because it was all kinds of slack as if there was no anchor attached and Mrs. Capper turned the camera off and we're both like, wait a minute, didn't we tie it back at the pole, uh, garage? And so I'm trying to get the anchor to catch and that's why I thought there was no anchor rope on it but ultimately we did pre-tie it which turned out to be a good thing but I had a really nice scare. Okay, so after messing around another half hour or so, I finally managed to get it to where I wanted it. I wanted the anchor to be really taut on the outside, you know, like when you anchor a boat, so that it really holds that island in place, and then the rope is going to hold it steady on the shoreline side. So, uh, eh, it was kind of fun. I mean, once it was done, but yeah, I was getting a little frustrated. It, and the wind was blowing the opposite direction. So you see how it keeps blowing me back out. That's why I keep ending up farther, because the wind is kicking pretty good that way. Okay, so we finally got it in place and it was all in the shade right now, which was actually part of our plan. So this is the next morning, the 17th of March. Took a couple drone shots. I believe that's a male goose. Interesting, he kind of came after the drone. So he's already protecting his area, um, this pond, I guess. He's waiting for probably the same female, I guess. But uh, let's take a look from the air and don't forget to hit the like button. We appreciate it and subscribe if you'd like to continue to join us on this adventure. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The 
world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free